Hey friends, I am out and about thrifting tonight and uh, tomorrow I have kind of a busy day but I still need to get some listings up and everything I have at home is kind of a difficult stuff to list. So I am out here looking for some like easy listings. So I'm going to run into the Sisters Thrift Boutique just behind me here and see what I can find. So let's go in. Just got out of the store. I was able to grab a few things. Um, they were about to close, so I only had about 15 minutes in the store. I was trying to get shoes only, but there was no good shoes today. Anything that was good was like $25. So, pass on the shoes. I will show you here, though, what I did get. Aww. Okay, sorry. The holding the camera and trying to show you at the same time is harder than it looks. So, um, I found this, what is it? Catherine Kelly Cashmere cardigan. Um, some of our pricing they price like per item and then some of it they just do like per like sweaters are eight dollars so this was eight dollars um and since it's cashmere i did look it up i have never heard of the brand but i've seen some sold comps for the same type of sweater for about fifty dollars plus ship so i was willing to pay the eight um i think i got some footage of these yeah, so this was a men's cool button up. They, they had this one priced at 10, but I was willing to pay it because I've sold these many times for around $30, $35 plus shipping. And uh, just like a marmot button up. This one was their regular pricing on a button down, I believe is $5. So $5 into probably 20 to 25. I just like the brand. So that's what I got here. I'm gonna head to at least one other store, hopefully maybe two or three other stores. So. Um, stick around. it's pretty dark now you can see so we will just head back to the house and show you guys what we got there um, also made some really good sales while I was in there so um, I was planning on picking what's sold tomorrow anyway so yeah stay tuned for that hello <laughs> <laughs> hey what's going on guys I'm here now and it's the next day we got Reese back there <laughs> He just jumped up trying to get some. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah, so um, you guys saw me at that last Goodwill stop. I didn't get a whole lot. Um, the only shoes I got were these ones. I think I got a little shot of some Ultras, which were over, I don't want to say overpriced, but More they than were you priced like. higher at yeah. $16.99, but Ultra is just a shoe I really like to sell. They're super easy. They are dirty on the bottom, but the, the treads are great um, still. So I'll spray these with OxyClean, throw them in the wash with dirty towels on cold, and yeah. wash those. And should be able to get 50 to 60. So $16.99 into 50 to 60 is fine with me. So there's that. This needs a very good lint roll. It's dry clean only, so I probably should not have bought it. Mm. But I've done well with this brand in like shackets, which I don't know. I'd call this more than a shacket, but. Legendary, Legendary white tails. tails. Yeah, so this retails over 100. I think I can get at least 50 for it, even in this condition. It was $10. So, yeah, it is it is wool blend, and then with the Sherpa lining, but definitely needs a good liberal. So I did see comps around 50 on that. Uh, this was like a men's wool rich. I don't know what, you, what kind of fleece you call these, but Every time I've sold one in different brands, even it's sold well for at least 30. So I would probably say I'm gonna list this for like 
between thirty and forty dollars plus shipping. Okay. And then I think it was only seven dollars. Yeah. Uh, I showed you guys this one in the car, that cashmere sweater. So yeah, that should do well. Around fifty. Uh, basically any cashmere, I don't even care if it's like JC Penny brand or something, you can usually get at least 30. So I would look up comps on any cashmere that you find. Okay. Uh, this is the cool one. I did show you in the car, but I said around 30 to 35, I think, and I actually listed some of these last night. So this one I listed and I found out it was called the Dis Disorder Flannel, maybe. Anyways, retails for $119, so comps on this one were up closer to 50 So I think I priced it up at 50 plus ship, so it should sell between 40 to 50 Cool. Hopefully fast. Um, it's the only men's medium listed. Yeah. And cool is an amazing brand. We've, uh, yeah, I really love that one. Yeah. <laughs> it sells so yeah. fast. Like, I don't think I've ever had it more than a week, probably more than a couple days. Right. Um, this is Carhartt, but it's like a pearl snap denim shirt, and surprisingly, comps on, even though it's kind of basic, we're still like 40 bucks, I think. Wow. So I think I priced it around 40, probably hoping for at least 30 on that. And that was like 7.99. I don't think I got any film of this, but they were just a kid size Carhartt pants and they were on one of the colors of the week. So I think I paid around $4 into probably just like 20 plus ship, but cool. easy listing. Uh, I said in the video, in the, in the beginning of the video that I wanted easy listings because yeah, all the stuff I have left here from Benzmas is like the stuff that's just- Should I? Should I pan you over? You can pan over. <laughs> so, just you'll notice that this side. <laughs> this side of the room looks spectacular, right? Like it's it's better than it's looked in a long time. This is what it's going to be like. <laughs> That's because this is what this side looks like. <laughs> so today, Kathy and I are going to tackle as much of this as we can. This all needs bagged uh, and basically inventoried. Yeah, so I did take three bins of shoes and some of the, the kids' clothes that I've been putting yeah. off to, in or to storage today. So yeah, once we get this bagged up, we should be yeah. on a good track for going forward. Like I can definitely keep up going forward. I just feel like it's, this was yeah. the, the backlog from like December and everything. We had breaks and snow days and, and everything. And yeah. just, we haven't caught up yet. So once we're caught up, I'm confident I can keep it up. <laughs> I think yeah. I just can't get caught up by myself. So he's so gonna help. We're me. gonna we're gonna we're gonna tackle as much of it as we can. Yeah. Maybe the kids will come up and hang out and play their games next to us and. Yeah. Uh, maybe we'll put on a movie on the TV, on the computer or something. I don't know. I was <laughs> thinking we could just bring the stuff downstairs and watch. Or do bring it downstairs. Yeah, yeah. While they do it. So, uh, this was just a basic Columbia PFG, but I felt like black was a good color. I did look it up. A men's XL black PFG had around a hundred percent sell through. Not gonna sell for a ton. I think I paid eight bucks for this, and it's probably gonna sell for like twenty five. So, okay. a little over a double up, but hopefully quickly on that. I just like selling those types of things. And then, yeah, you saw this marmot, marmot, marmot whatever. Marmot. <laughs> marmot flannel. <laughs> That's how they say it in the commercial, so, at least. <laughs> that, I think I listed around 25. So five into around 20, 25 plus ship. I mentioned I was gonna go to storage and get my sales, which I did. This was my sale from the last video where they asked for a $25 offer. They accepted the $25 oh. offer and they have yet to pay for their $25 offer. Oh, that's right. So that was Who knows, but the that was the whole thing where I accepted the offer or I sent so an offer, but it was on the other ones. and paid and then I, I've already shipped those ones. Actually, no, the they're in here. They're in here, yeah. I gotcha. All right, so yeah, I had Fun some good stuff. sales while in the Goodwill last night. Hey, what are you snooping through? Mm -hmm. Mommy's yeah, gonna get to those. She'll get to those in a minute. <laughs> uh, so actually, it was funny because we sold those two ASIC shorts in the last video, right? Like two, someone bought two pairs of the same thing. Yeah, and then somebody bought again. nice two pairs of pants. Yeah, so Roundtree in New York, which is what I think is just like Dillard's brand, right? So Dillard, these yeah. I found in our boxes when we did the inventory before taking it to storage. So they were in a box, supposedly listed. They're bagged up, everything ready to go. They weren't listed, so I finally got them listed, <laughs> and they sold within just a couple days. So? I don't know if it's the size. I don't know if it's, they're like a 48 by 30, so it is a bigger size. I feel like corduroy is kind of like popular right now for whatever okay. reason. So I don't know, but if these I had only paid three forty four each for, so six eighty eight total into both, into $50.92 plus ship. So. Nice. Yeah. That's one of those benefits of us actually doing that inventory right. and uh, kind of getting your hands on everything before yeah. we move it over. And a lot in that pile over there is stuff we pulled out, so it should be easy to yeah. get back up once I figure out why it never got listed. <laughs> All right, Clark. 
small riding boot. I bought these at a garage sale over the summer for 10 and they sold for 47 with discount shipping on Posh. Some Sonoma Peters. Might have been from Bins. They're definitely from the Bins. Um, only bought them because they're new with tag, but Sonoma's just like Kohl's, I believe. And $1.77 into 1088 plus ship. Easy. A little mm -hmm. bit of profit. These are some Ugg flip flops. I actually bought these for myself over the summer. Never wore them. <laughs> Went ahead and listed them. Uh, I think I paid $8.99 for them and sold for 19 plus ship. So. Not a big profit, but I wouldn't probably have bought them if it wasn't for myself, so. Yeah. Um, this is that Lego set from Vinsmith. I had a high cost of goods that day, two eighty one into ten plus shipping, so five or so dollar profit there. Okay. That was one of those like filler kind of items yeah, anyway. Easy so listing. Yeah. Um some Crocs. These actually sold to our viewer Angie. Thank you, Angie. Awesome. Uh she grabbed them the first day they were listed for twenty nine ninety five plus ship. Uh, I think I bought them in our video last week, maybe. I don't know. I can't Anyways, remember. <laughs> uh, I'm saying that because the cost of goods says $9.94, which is not like a normal of our any uh -oh. thrift store price, so I must have averaged it. And I know I bought them recently. So either way, thank you so much, Angie. Yeah. Twenty-nine or $9.94 into $29.95. Angie, thank you so much for that support. All right, New Balance. These have been listed for like a year or two. A uh, little baby New Balance. I only paid two ninety nine, but they sold for fourteen with discount shipping, so probably like a six dollar profit. Right. Um, Skechers, yeah. So this was the other person that asked for the twenty five dollar offer. They okay. did accept and pay for their purchase. Like so it when that happens. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so, uh, I paid seven ninety nine into twenty five plus shipping. Just Skechers, you know. We find them every time I go to the thrift store. I don't need the feel a need to like hold out for a super high price like obviously i could probably got 30 to 35 out of those but i'll find another place in my uh these are nobles these are actually my personal shoes that i bought off facebook marketplace a while back for 65 i wore them a number of times and sold them on ebay for 76.46 plus shipping so i'm about breaking even i probably actually lost a couple bucks after ebay fees but i got to wear them yeah. these are very comfortable shoes uh, I think I'm only selling them because I was trying to get a different color and I was trying to have these sell. I had a my eye on a pair on Mercari and by the time these ones sold out, those ones are already sold. So oh. I'm going to keep my eye out like the, the color <laughs> I want is like a teal. So. Okay. Anyways, that's what I do. I like buy things, wear them a few times, resell them, yeah. get something new. It's fun. The revolving okay. wardrobe, right? I think this is a viewer sharing. Um, if so, thank you so much. I saw it said repeat buyer, but. Okay. A lot of you guys have the same names and I like can't always remember, but I believe you're a viewer. So thank you so much. Uh, some Nike sneakers. I paid $12.99 for these. They took a while to sell. Uh, Sharon bought them for $27.88 plus ship. So probably like a $9, $10 profit. Rate. Sharon, thank you so much for that support. Reese, say thank you to Sharon. <laughs> stay right now. Stay. Stay. <laughs> <laughs> He's been trying to get our attention the whole time. I don't know if you guys could tell, but... He really wants a M E A T B A L L. Oh, you're being so good. <laughs> After the video. <laughs> uh, these are those little Sorel toddler boots from Ben's Miss. Cool. I paid a dollar fifty-four into twenty-four plus shipping. And these Hoka Bondies, which yeah, these are not the ones from that other video recently, but mm. I did pay up for these at twenty-two forty-five was my cost of goods, so kind of a lot, but I knew that. I mean, very low. I would get 50. I thought I could probably get 80, and I probably could have. I accepted a $60 offer after, after mm -hmm. like two days. So, I don't know. I just wanted to make them, I guess. Yeah. So, I thought that was fair enough. I'm making about a $25 profit, so more than a double up. Double up. And yeah, this last label actually came in after I had already went to storage, so I just printed it. But it's for a jelly cat from Binsmith, so we'll put the picture up. It's like a little plush, the corduroy horse purple one. Oh, okay. Uh, so $1.86 from Ben's Miss into 16 with discount shipping on Posh, so around a $10 profit. So I'll pick that one up tomorrow when I do my sales tomorrow. Very nice. Yeah. Um, I don't know, you guys want to see my Once Upon a Child stuff? I mean, it's here. It's here. It wasn't Reese really was part of our video. I actually picked this stuff up today. <laughs> Bonus content right here. How I've been doing our story. <laughs> this is how I've been taking stuff to storage until we find a better way. We've well, oh, yeah, yeah. our little 
So we did this where, um, so you, with the with the Dymo, you can screen capture. So we have been screen capturing the spreadsheet that Kathy uses. And um, yeah, she just writes in the bin that she puts it in and then brings it back. And then we fill that stuff out in the spreadsheet. It's kind of working for right now. It's not the final, what we want to do, but. Obviously it'd be easier if the computer was there. I just type it right in, but there's yeah. no service in there. So unless we bought like a power, I don't know. There's no like cell a cell phone extend right, extender so or something like that. It doesn't seem worth it at this point. So this is what we're doing in the meantime, which it's working. Yeah. <laughs> so those are the three bins I took today. Um, these, I went to Once Upon a Child just because, again, I'm looking for more easy listings today. Um, and Once Upon a Child doesn't write numbers on their shoes. So that's, I don't have to link that That's off. a plus. Um, and yeah, they're just usually easy to list. And I try to pick ones that don't really need cleaning much. So yeah, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, so it's my, so I, I've been keeping up on my board. Yesterday night I did 15, but I did six this morning. So I'm gonna just add that to Monday cause 21 is what I'm trying to do Monday through Friday. So basically I'm done with my Monday now between that and the six I did this morning. So now I'm gonna try to do, I think I got 14 pairs here. So I'll list these up tonight and then hopefully find another six. And today our time is Tuesday, so. Right, but, but yeah, you guys will see this probably yeah. Wednesday, but. Anyways, again, it's all part of just trying to get caught up yeah. into the the routine that we are trying to get set right. for. And so these will be easy to bag, so yeah. like it won't put me behind on anything like that. So, anyways, got some Pumas. I usually pass on Pumas. I, they don't sell well for me, but these were like brand new. I did have twenty percent off today, so any price is minus twenty percent. So those were eight fifteen. Um, these are some Skechers. Like they look like natives. Yeah, they're Skechers, and they're basically brand new. So these were ten. So I paid eight. Probably until like, uh, I didn't say how much. The Pumas, I'm probably gonna list them 25 to 30. You know, uh, the ones upon a child shoes are mostly like a double up or at least hopefully a $10 profit, so. So you buy for 10, sell for 20. Right. Yeah. After fees, yeah. So these, I'll probably list these around 30. So uh, sometimes a little bit more than a double up. These bogs, they were 15, so I paid 12, but these usually sell for 30 to 35 plus shipping. Um, I just got these because they were cheap. They're Robies. I don't always buy Robies, but yeah, I only pay $2, so probably into 15 to 20 on those. Okay. They're really nice. Uh, Robies are leather, and they're like the ones that are flexible for like little babies. Got some Columbia snow boots. I think I paid, well, I paid 12 because they were 15, so um, 12 into probably 30 to 35 on those. And the numbers I'm saying are going to be plus shipping. Right. I didn't really, I didn't look up comps on these. These are, I just thought they were a cool looking pair of Adidas. Uh, probably gonna list them around 30 plus ship. So I paid, I think these were 10. So yes, I paid eight on those. Hey, uh, you wanna hold those up real quick and like I could do like a thumbnail? <laughs> Cute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, so I also got these little baby Adidas, which hopefully are not in bad shape because they were in like, she had to open it to scan this, but they mm. were in one of those like netting things. Oh. Has some little baby crib shoes. Eh, those are pretty cute. So four fifty, I paid like three something, and those should probably sell around twenty plus ship. Got some hey dudes. Oh, there was another pair of hey dudes I didn't get just because they they had these priced at ten, so I paid eight. But these are camo. Camo anything usually does well, so I'll probably list these around. And they're a youth size, like six, so a bigger kid size. Probably list these at thirty. Probably hope to sell around 25 plus ship. Little baby Nikes, 850, so I paid around seven, probably into 20 or so plus shipping. They're basically brand new. Those are just like an infant size two, I think. Yeah. Cool. So got some little baby Keens. These usually sell around 25 or so plus ship. I did pay the 850, so like seven bucks out of pocket probably. These little Nikes were only priced at 850. I don't know. They used to price little baby Nikes at like 350 or 550 if they were under like a size five infant. Now these are a size three infant priced at 850. Anything over like a five is like a $12. So mm. anyways, these ones look basically brand new, probably around 25. So on those plus shipping, the Nike free runs are the ones that usually sell so fast and easy. Although these are an infant size, so maybe a little longer 4C. Those are adorable. These are like the ones I like for our kids because they're so easy to put on and off. Yeah. They have the really cushiony 
insole things. So probably 25 or so on those. These ones they had also priced at 850. Got some Crocs, like a small boot. So 10, so I paid eight and so probably 25 or 30. Uh, these were, I don't know. I, I pass on most of the Converse these days. These ones looked like a cooler pair than just a typical one. So yeah. I paid eight until probably 25 or so, 30 maybe. And then these are actually, these were at once upon a child, but I think they're women's. Um, so they're a Nike ACG, like vintage type boot. Hmm. And these do have a good well price, but the once upon a child. Oh. At Come on, <laughs> once upon a child. Did they sell it for more? <laughs> the, they well, Goodwill, did. No, Goodwill was trying to get 20. Oh, I thought it once said 9 Once upon a child had 12, so I paid like nine something, probably into like 35, 40 on those. So, so that's interesting. How do you think it got? Do you think somebody bought it from Goodwill and then sold it to? Not just to sell. They probably wore right, it. Right, wore it and they, then yeah. sold it, yeah. I see Goodwill prices on some of their stuff a lot, so. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Cool. So that's my listings for today, plus hopefully a few random or something from that table from that table way back there <laughs> which <this> file. <laughs> which hey we're gonna we do have to go pick up the kids and uh we're gonna get started on this pile that's gonna be kind of our activity for tonight guys thank you so much for watching let us know how did kathy do you pretty much did this whole video on your own i was just here to hold the camera so let us know down in the comments. And uh, Kathy, you did horror. <laughs> yeah, lots of those cut. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> those build character. <laughs> yes. Uh, thanks so much for. Oh, here, Reese needs his meatball. I almost got us out without you getting your meatball. You want one or two? Okay, you just get one. <laughs> you could have two. Oh, he's a good boy. He waited so patiently. We know, you know, everybody misses you, Reese, right? I know, we gotta get him in, gotta go vlog out and about with Reese. <laughs> gotta tomorrow. take him to the storage unit, that'd be fun. <laughs> so, thanks again, everyone. We do appreciate all of you, and we will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>